My name is Scott Lokers. I'm part of the Luminex team. Thanks for joining us on this Whiteboard Wednesday. This whiteboard uh, is part of the series on Todd Bolsinger's book called Canoeing the Mountains. It's a book that's been really impactful in my life in terms of this whole analogy of Lewis and Clark and the great adventure they're on and that we find ourselves as leaders on a similar kind of adventure. Inspired me so much, I read recently in a biography about um, Meriwether Lewis and his life and that whole adventure. And uh, so this is an easy thing for me to talk about. And I wanna just pick one thing out of uh, the book. Uh, Bolsinger talks about adaptive leadership. He's not the first one to do that or the only one, but it's again a helpful uh, tool in my life and in leadership. So adaptive leadership, uh, Bolsinger talks about three characteristics of adaptive leadership. Number one is uh, we find ourselves in a spot where there are um, no clear answers. We're facing a dilemma, a challenge that we have not faced before. There are no clear answers. That would be different uh, than technical leadership or technical problems where there is a solution. There's someone who knows the answer. I might not know it, but I can go somewhere and find out what is the answer to this problem. And it's good to know technical answers and that kind of leadership is important. But adaptive leadership, we're in a spot a highly changing environment and there are no clear answers. The second characteristic of adaptive leadership is, so what do we need to do in those kinds of situations? We need to learn. And especially as leaders, we need to learn. We need to grow. Most of us were not trained that way. Most of us were trained that here are the things you need to know and this will prepare you to lead. And some of us even like that kind of thought process. We like to be thought of as the expert in the room, the one who knows the most. But if we're truly in an adaptive situation, we need to learn as leaders, we need to learn and bring others with us and learn together because we don't know what the answers are. We're gonna to have to grow and learn. And then there's a third aspect to adaptive leadership that Bolsinger speaks of, and that is in every situation as we move toward a solution and an answer, we're gonna experience a sense of loss. And that's sobering to me, but an important reminder because I like the thought of adventuring, of being off the map. I like the, the thought of uh, we're doing things differently, but it's a reminder um, there's loss involved in that. And sometimes we look at others and think, why don't they get this? Why are they so slow to, to come along with us? Well, there's a sense of loss of grief. And I find that in my own life. Sometimes I wish we could just go back when things were simpler. Or can't we do something that I know how to do? A sense of loss. So these three uh, characteristics of adaptive leadership. I find that played out in the Bible in the book of Acts. If you think about the early church, so they're trying to figure out what does it mean that Jesus has come, that he died, that he was raised, that he was ascended to the Father. And what does that mean for them as a group of people? So one of the questions they face is, um, is the gospel, is the truth of Jesus only for Jewish people or for Gentiles as well? And they watch and see what God is up to. And obviously God is bringing in the Gentiles. The gospel is for all people. And that leads to some questions. So, for instance, uh, what happens when Gentiles become believers? Do they have to become Jews first? Do they have to be circumcised, for example? And there are some things they need to learn together as they're watching what's God up to, what's the Holy Spirit saying, and how do we arrive, how, how do we uh, figure some things out together as we go through this? And so no clear answers. They have to learn some things as they're watching God and experiencing it together and a sense of loss. Can't you imagine some of the people say, what do you mean uh, you don't have to be circumcised? That was so important in my life or I thought about that different. Well, uh, we're in a, a spot where we're adventuring, where we've got new challenges in front of us and um, we get to adventure together. Uh, hope you get excited about that and continue on your journey in adaptive leadership.
Thanks.